everyone, Complex back with another video and today we're going to talk about a very common question and that is how do you make coin in Anthem? Now there are a few ways to make coin and you basically just use coin right now to uh, to purchase things in the featured store that Prospero runs. I know you can theoretically buy embers with coin but I don't know why you do that at this point. Don't, don't, please don't do that. If you're new, don't buy embers with coin. Just don't do it. You will eventually amass an ember fortune. I promise you, uh, don't, don't do it. But let's talk about how you get coins and that way you can get all the, uh, the coolest armors and graphics that are out. I don't know. I'm not like a, a super graphic fan. I prefer the, the materials. I love the materials. So let's talk about all of that. Also emotes. Yeah, you can get emotes. So let's, let's just talk about how you get all the coin for that. So there are basically three main ways in Anthem to get coin. The first being the alliance system. Now, you might notice in front of Lucky Jack where he is in the Enclave, there is an alliance system um, thing that you can press and it pops up and you can see what your tier is, what your friend's tier is. And how this basically works is that when you play the game, you bump up your tier. And then when your friends play the game, either if they're on your friends list or they're part of your guild, um, they too rank up in tier for this alliance system. Uh, and then based off of your tier and their tier, you'll actually get some coin because of it. So for instance, if I'm a tier five and I have friends that are a tier seven in the alliance, I'm only going to make coin based off of my tier because I'm not never going to make coin above my tier. Um, but if I have a friend who's a tier lower than me, I'm also going to make the coin at their level kind of thing. So basically, you're always going to make coin at right about your level as far as the alliance system goes. And it is your top five friends uh, that you make coin off of. And you're probably like, Plex, I don't necessarily have five friends on my friends list that play Anthem or are playing Anthem. And it's like, I get it. They have introduced the guild system uh, with the Cataclysm update. And now through that, you are actually able to make coin for the alliance system uh, off of your um your guild mates so if you join an active guild that that's one really easy way to make coin now the one thing i cannot stress enough is that the alliance system coin is made up of how much you're playing and how much your friends are playing so you can't just mooch off of somebody that's playing the game a metric boatload and you just sit back and not really play you have to play the game to make the coin and it does go up to rank 10 and i believe i've heard on average you can make like if everybody you and all of your friends hit rank 10 you can make about 10 to eleven thousand coin um a week so that that's kind of that most people don't hit rank 10 if i'm being honest um so you can expect anything um max 10 to eleven thousand coin a week but it, i'd expect lower based off of how much you're playing and friends are playing and all this other good stuff now before we continue on i did want to note that supposedly there's a quote-unquote fail safe in the alliance tier system where if you don't have any friends that are playing anthem and you don't decide you don't want to be in a guild um you should be able to make coin off of randos i personally have never gotten that to work so i don't count it as a way to make coin but just note if you could run into that, so if you're getting random coin and you don't know why and you don't have friends that are playing and you're not in a guild, it could be that that kicked in. So if so, yay. Um, and now let's just let's just continue on. So let's talk about the other two ways to make coin in Anthem. The first is through the daily and weekly challenges. Any given week, roughly, you can make about 10 thousand ish two four so yeah ten thousand ish coin if you do each of the weekly challenges there's generally like two weekly factions a weekly contract a weekly legendary contract and then a weekly stronghold contract um right now with the cataclysm going on as well there is also a um a weekly that was added in so you can also make additional coin off of that and then sometimes in the echoes of reality section of your challenges um the first subsection there there is a weekly challenge occasionally there and you can make a coin off of that as well and then every day they've got a series of daily challenges some daily challenges don't give any coin other ones will give anywhere from like two to eight hundred coin i mean it's rare to see an 800 coin it's generally like a 700 coin um but you can get a coin that way and it varies day to day some days there's only like one daily challenge that's going to give you coin other days there are like three of them so keeping an eye on the daily challenges 
is really going to help you net some coin. And also um, like doing the weekly challenges will net you a sizable amount of coin every um, every week because they're they're weekly. <laughs> All right. But the next thing I did want to mention um, is that there are challenges that you can do for weapons. There are challenges that you can do uh, to become, let's say, uh, mastering like the Colossus gear and stuff like that, or mastering the Interceptor gear one challenge. And those will net you some coin as well as get you uh, some of those banners if you're looking for those um for for when you're like gearing up and stuff like that uh, but those are some good ways to make coins so going through your challenges and checking to see what you haven't done and what you can still do that might help you net in some coin if you're really looking for coin like right now and you need it like super quickly um there's also like the exploration ones give um a little bit of coin so if you discover all the areas in each of the zones of um the bastion when you're out in free play that'll get you some coin so and there's a bunch of coin to be made within this challenges section. And it also helps you get to that uh, legendary freelancer um, challenge, which I don't know why I'm like, I'm, I'm so wanting that right now. Please don't ask me. I just want it. So <laughs> that's what I've been working on currently. And, um, and I've been getting some coin along the way, which is quite nice because I spend a lot of coin on materials. But overall, when talking about coin and anthem, I don't know if it's possible. I don't think from the math that I've done and just been playing, I don't know if it's possible to get like 60,000 coin in a week. Uh, so if you're somebody that sees a pretty sweet armor in the store or something like that and you really want it, it's going to take you like at least two to three weeks to, to amass that kind of coin. So I'd say overall as a tip, start paying attention to the dailies and weeklies now. Pay attention to the challenges um, that you can do. Uh, if you haven't joined a guild, um, maybe consider joining a guild if you're playing a lot of Anthem to help you gear up and get some more coin that way. So that way you can just start amassing uh, more coins. So that way when that armor that you really want comes out or that graphic that you really want comes out, you've already got a little nest egg and then maybe you only have to do two or three legendary contracts or maybe you only have to complete one weekly challenge or something like that to get yourself to the full amount of coin that you need but that is gonna be it from me today y'all thank you so much for joining me i hope this helped if you were having any trouble making coin if you have additional questions please don't hesitate to leave it down in the comments below or find me on twitch i do stream anthem one to two days a week uh, currently and um that's pretty much it i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night and or day depending on where you are in the world and i will catch you next time bye guys Bye.